As the coronavirus death toll near 640, many of us in Keloland are watching our neighbor to the south. Planes carrying about 300 Americans from the Chinese city at the epicenter of the outbreak arrived at military bases in California and Texas today. But some of the Americans are expected to go to Nebraska, where they'll be quarantined in a town near Omaha. So what happens if, this, if it spreads, reaches South Dakota? Keloland's Brady Mallory talked with the doctor to find out how local hospitals are preparing. Brady? Well, first, it's important to note there are only 12 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the United States. That's according to CBS News. The doctor I talked with says coronavirus as a whole isn't new. Remember SARS from the mid-2000s? That's actually a type of coronavirus. Here's why medical experts are worried this latest strain that we're talking about. It's new and there's no vaccine or treatment right now. With more than 28,000 people infected worldwide, health leaders are trying to prevent the pandemic from getting worse. There are still a lot of unknowns when it comes to the 2019 coronavirus. We don't know how contagious it is. We know that there is a human-to-human -human spread. Avera Health infectious disease specialist Dr. Ferris Massanet says there are no suspected or confirmed cases in South Dakota. However, he says he wouldn't be surprised if, at some point, we get a suspected case in the state. The majority of cases um, in the U.S. who were suspected to have coronavirus only a very small percentage of those uh, suspected cases uh, tested positive for coronavirus. Massanet is getting updates from the CDC. Nebraska's quarantine site is only a few hours away from parts of South Dakota. Massanet says if the disease were to spread here, local hospitals are equipped for quarantines, and they're working with the state health department to have a plan. The patient has to be uh, um, isolated. Um, and all uh, the surroundings, people who were in contact with him, um, has to be observed and uh, tested. Right now, Massanet says here, influenza is a much bigger risk to worry about than coronavirus. I don't think it's, um, it's a reason to panic about it. We are still learning more things about it. Well, Massanet says symptoms are similar to a cold. He says medical staff is asking patients if they've recently traveled to China. So what does Sanford have to say? Well, Sanford Health is also monitoring what's happening. The health system says all patients are being screened for recent travel history and symptoms. It also says if it were to find a positive case, it would isolate that patient and staff members and alert the proper agencies.